Aleluia. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, what did it say? Let us go into the house of the Lord. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time? Amen. We want to welcome you to Life Impact Worship Center, a church right here in South New Jersey, Berlin, New Jersey, 20 East Taunton Road. Amen. And uh, I'm Pastor John David Wright, and I serve as the senior pastor here. We're here, we're here to have a glorious time in the Lord. What about you? Amen. Just look at somebody, just touch them and say, I came to have church tonight. Come on, can we clap our hands and give God a great praise? A great God deserves a great praise. A good God deserves a good praise. An all right God deserves an all right praise. But a great God deserves what? A great praise. So can we give him a great praise? We're getting ready to move right on into our service. But can we give God a great praise? Can we give him a standing ovation? Can we give him the glory that he deserves? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. At this time, while we're standing, Minister Julian Bonner, he's going to be coming with our scripture reading and our prayer. And then that will be followed by praise and worship by the praise team. He's coming at this time. Clap your hands. Get another, get a, the other mic there. Amen. There you go. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. If you have your Bibles, I will be reading from the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, beginning at the second verse, and I will be con concluding at the sixth verse. When you have it, please say amen. I got the word. Again, that is Isaiah chapter 9, beginning at the second verse, and I'll be concluding at the sixth verse. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them have the light shineth. Thou hast multiplied the nation, and not increased the joy, they joy, before thee, according to the joy, in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I have read in your hearing Isaiah, the ninth chapter, second verse, concluding at the sixth. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. May we look to the Lord in prayer. God, we thank you for waking us up this morning, God. We thank you, God, for starting us on our way, God. God, we thank you, God, that when we woke up, God, we didn't wake up in a cold grave, God, and that we didn't wake up with our eyes in hell, God. But, God, we woke up, God, with the activities of our limbs, God. God, we woke up with food on our table, God. God, we woke up with clothes on our back, God. God, we woke up with a great portion of health, God. So, God, right now we say thank you, oh, God, because somebody didn't get up this morning, God. Somebody doesn't have clothes, God. Somebody doesn't have somewhere to live, God. Somebody does not have have the activities of their limbs, God. These things we often take for granted, God. We say thank you, oh God. God, we ask God that if we have done anything, God, that has caused offense to you, God, anything that may have taken us out of the plan and will, God, that you have for our lives, God, we ask for your forgiveness right now, oh God. We ask God that you pardon us, God. 
Though our sin, God, may be as red as scarlet, God, you will wash us white as snow, oh God. We thank you right now, God, for seeing fit, God, to redeem man, oh God. That you said, God, I'm going to go down, God, and redeem them with my precious God, oh, with my precious blood. So, God, we thank you right now, oh God. God, we ask, God, that you have your way in the service, oh God. God, anoint the musicians right now, oh God. Let them play skillfully, oh God. God, I ask, God, that everyone, God, that hits this pulpit, God, to minister, God. Let us minister effectively, oh God. God, we bind up the spirit of spectator, God. We bind up the spirit of, oh, I'm only going to move unless my favorite person gets up there, God. But, God, we're going to get up there with everybody, God. Let us get in with everybody, oh God, because God, it's all about you, oh God. And as long as you are in the building, oh God, that's all that matters, oh God. If nobody is saved, nobody is healed, nobody is delivered, God, we missed the mark, oh God. So now we have to go back and do our first work all over again, oh God. So God, we ask that you have your way in this room, oh God. Come in here, oh God. Let yokes be destroyed, oh God. Let deliverance take place, oh God. Let healing take place, oh God. But most importantly, God, let somebody come to this altar saying, what must I I do to be saved, oh God. Have your way right now, oh God. And for this, we will continue to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise that you so rightfully deserve. In Jesus' name we pray, and it is so. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God another good praise. Help me sing this old song. I was glad when they said unto me. Come on up. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me, clap your hands, let us go into the house. Come on, help me say, I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me, oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Thank 
and it's so good to see the saints in the house tonight. Thank God for my friend and brother Elder Marcus Weatherspoon. He's in the house. We have one of the greatest songbirds in all of America, Sister Tizra Witherspoon. Did I say it right? Or Tirza? Tirza, that's it. Amen. I got some cousins in the house. Amen. And, um, and we're getting ready to move right on with our program. First Lady Janita Wright is here, y'all. I'm going to say it again. First Lady Janita Wright is in. She's in the house. Amen. And Sister Michelle Buster, she's in the house. Amen. And Chosen Vessel, I see one of them. I see some of them, amen. Chosen Vessel is in the house. And we're getting ready to move in. Sister Aranique Savage. You're going to hear from her. But we're going to um, go ahead and move on with the program. I thank God for First Lady Janita Wright. Um, she's very special to me. She's my wife. <laughs> amen. And she's also... Uh, the co-pastor here at this ministry doing a wonderful job. Good to see you, Jen. Amen. Bless you. She's doing a wonderful job helping me spearhead this ministry. And uh, um, we're still trying to get used to South Jersey. Anybody from, everybody from South Jersey, all y'all? See, y'all pray for me. I'm from Brooklyn. And Brooklyn and South Jersey is real different. Y'all got parking spaces out here, you know. You know where we park in Brooklyn? Sidewalks, double parking, parking lots that you got to pay $50 an hour for. Y'all got trees that grew up out the ground. Hey, Amen. Not the Jamal Bryant trees. The other trees. Hey, Amen. I ain't going to bother with that, but I... Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for these awesome musicians as well. Brother Dan, Brother Jaden, and Brother John. But First Lady Wright, she has several CDs that she, uh, a wonderful recording artist, Stella nominated and Rhythm of Gospel nominated. And she's anointed to do what she does. And she is going to come and be our first guest artist. I want you all to clap your hands. As we receive all the way from Boynton Beach, Florida. <laughs> By way of New York and New Jersey. <laughs> Clap your hands for Lady Janita right as she come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, can we give Jesus a praise? And the sanctuary, hallelujah. Come on, can we break the ice on tonight? We're all children of God, so can we open up our mouths and just bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Come on, look look on the other side of you, hallelujah. And just wave at somebody, wave at your sister, wave at your brother, hallelujah. Come on, come on, open up your mouth, come on, come on. Wave at them tonight, hallelujah. Tell them something that God has done for you just so this week of all. He brought you out this week. Tell him how he restored you this week. Tell him how he made a way for you this week. Hallelujah. Come on, God is an able God. Hallelujah. We give him glory on tonight. I'm grateful for another opportunity that every time that he warrants me a chance to stand before his people, whether it's giving a word or whether it's singing and, and just ministering to the hearts of his people, I don't take that for granted. Hallelujah. Because every time we have an opportunity. We need to use that opportunity. Hallelujah. Because somebody didn't have an opportunity today. Amen. Somebody doesn't have an opportunity. Thank you, Jesus, to speak. Somebody don't have an opportunity to hear. But we're all here. Hallelujah. And we didn't need an escort to walk us in. We walked in here on our own. Hallelujah. We're sitting here in here. And I do believe that all of us know that who what our name is i believe all of us know where we are i believe all of us know hallelujah where we are so can we respond on tonight as if we know where we are
can we respond hallelujah yes. in a way that would be pleasing to the father hallelujah god is so worthy he's so deserving of the praise and of the glory hallelujah hallelujah i'm just gonna open up with a little number the song says bless thou the lord O my soul bless thou the lord O my soul god i glorify your name thank you jesus yes god yes god i magnify your name yes god bless
somebody ought to lift his name up tonight. Lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity. Said if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Lord, draw me See my glory, say. 
your grace. Oh, for your grace. Oh, for your grace. I can stand here tonight. I can stand here tonight. Declare it. Declare it in the name of Jesus. I can stand here tonight because I'm a witness.
invite his presence into the room on tonight.
You've been in this posture too long. I can't see you in this place. There's too much I have stored up in you to be released to my people. You can stay there. You can stay there. You can stay there. Who am I talking to? You can stay there. You can stay there. But you gotta come out of it. You can't stay there any longer. But God has a purpose and a plan for your life. You can't stay in that place any longer. God says, I want to restore you. I want to give peace back unto you. I want to restore your joy. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him glory on tonight. Can we slip our hands up and just begin to worship him all over the sanctuary? for his presence we got one more number hallelujah and because it's a christmas concert i cannot close out without giving you a christmas number amen hallelujah hallelujah so we're gonna sing a little rendition hallelujah holy night hallelujah if you know it you can feel free to join in with us and sing that hallelujah we bless your name you may be seated but as the spirit of the Lord rest and as he moved throughout the sanctuary, hallelujah, as you feel the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, in your own way, just honor his presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I love you. Yes, God, we magnify your name. Such a beautiful spirit in this room tonight.
for Jesus. Hallelujah. That's my time. Hallelujah. I'm going to move out the way so I can hear. Come on, clap your hands for First Lady Wright. In the Life Impact Praise Team. Amen. Hallelujah. Just look at somebody and tell them, I'm glad to be here tonight. Amen. Very quickly, we want to receive our offering. In Brooklyn, we take about two or three offerings. Tonight, we're going to take one. <laughs> Amen. We're going to receive our offering. Thank God for our tithers of the ministry, the faithful tithers of this ministry, Life Impact Worship Center. You know, no ministry can sustain itself without the faithful support. Amen. Amen. So those that are you, of you that are tithers to the ministry, we want you to go ahead and do what you normally do on these Sundays. And we, we have service every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. If you want to come and visit with us after your service with the permission of your pastor, amen. I believe in doing things right. Come on and visit with us. If you don't have a church home, you can always come and fellowship with us. This is a church where we love everybody. Amen. We love everybody. And our uh, cash app is dollar sign Life Impact WC. Dollar sign Life Impact WC. Our Zelle is Life Impact WC at gmail.com. I'm going to ask some of those that can sow a $1,000 seed. You know who you are. Amen. Oh, we got to stop shortchanging the saints. Amen. Those of you that can sow that $1,000 seed, we want you to do that. Those of you that can sow that $500 seed, we want you to do that. Those of you that can sow that $100 seed, we want you to do that. And those of you that can sow that $50 seed and that $20 seed, we want you to do that. Anybody want to be able to give $5,000 in church and it don't hurt you? Uh-oh, some folks didn't say amen. Let me tell you something. If you're able to give $5,000 and it don't hurt you, that means you're really sitting on something. Anybody want to give $5,000 in church and it don't hurt you? Jump up and shout. He talking to me real quick. Somebody, I just want to see. There you go. Amen. I'm talking to some million dollar tithers. Hallelujah. Good to see my friend and brother, Elder John Howard in the back, y'all. Amen. Great man of God. So everybody, if you have those seeds, I want you to stand to your feet. Minister Jay Henderson, he going to come and stand and hold a basket. Hold, stand up with those seeds wherever you are. Amen. And we're going to do it this way. Even if you're sowing uh, with Cash App or Zelle, if you need the Cash App, I'll give it to you one more time if you need it. The Cash App is dollar sign Life Impact WC. And the Zelle is Life Impact WC at gmail.com. Amen. Come on, hold those seeds up in your right hand. The right hand is the hand of blessings. The hand of power and authority. Father God, we thank you for the seeds that we're sowing tonight. We know that we're sowing it into good ground and we expect a great harvest to come our way. Not only in finances, but God, you said favor is better than money. So bless us with favor everywhere we go. Let us have the best favor that we can ever imagine everywhere our feet shall tread everything our hands shall touch do it for us God in Jesus name and do me a favor shout this with me here I go trusting God again come on we're coming out from the back we don't have no ushers there we go sister Ned's gonna usher we're gonna do this side first come on come on out If you know it, help me see. I'm so glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad. Oh, trouble don't last always. Dollar sign, life impact, WC. May not come when you want them. No. Found him to be friend of mine. Storm clouds rise in your life. 
I know the Lord. He'll be there. Come on, y'all clap your hands. Want to help her? I know the Lord. Help you to bear. I'm so glad. Y'all know this old song. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad Trouble don't last all way Can I see if I got a choir? We've been made Hold the music Y'all got it We've been made Stay right there Say it again We've been made We'll be alright. Come on, all that. All right, we're gonna leave that alone. That's enough. You're gonna finish it. All right, come on, we got to move. Well, soprano, we're the soprano. Let me hear the soprano. Come on. in the house and they're coming in. are y'all ready now chosen vessel clap your hands all the way from Pleasantville New Jersey down by Atlantic City amen in Egg Harbor right I'm getting it hallelujah clap your hands for chosen vessel as they come hallelujah Yeah, y'all can come right on up here. Come on. Praise the Lord, I was trying to get Reverend Hendrix to talk, but she said she's not going to talk. I love to do this to me. <laughs> she said, I'm not talking. No. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Y'all all right? Hallelujah. Clap your hands. Give God some praise. Amen. Glad to be here in the number with our friend, Pastor David Wright, and we had some of our friends to come along, uh, Deacon Howard and Dominican. Y'all stand up. They came all the way They're from Hamilton. Come on, y'all stand up here. Deacon and Deaconess and Reverend John Howard. Thank you. Amen. Well, we're going to do something for y'all. Y'all ready?
me now. singing yours so you know we all remember that song back in the day Jesus is mine by John P. Key and you know what for anniversary every choir used to sing that song so every choir got up they say well this is all we've heard so we're gonna sing Jesus is mine and we're gonna say I was at a church and seven choirs song Jesus is mine right in the road I said Lord I mean. so that taught me to learn more songs isn't that all right
Somebody clap your hands and give God glory. Somebody shout, it was a holy night. Yes, it was a holy night. Anybody glad for Jesus? Hold on, let me let me rewind that. Anybody glad for Jesus? Look at somebody and say, I'm glad about Jesus. I, I know Santa Claus is coming to town. I know that. But I'm glad about Jesus. Because if it had not been for the Lord on my side, good God Almighty. And I, I, I'm got, we get, we're moving on. We got some more people that's getting ready to come. And uh, I had a doctor's appointment on last week. And they was testing for all kinds of stuff. They were afraid about what they might see. But I'm here with a praise report. There ain't no tumors in my head. I ain't got no aneurysms in my head. Lord have mercy. And all of the signs. Sometimes you have symptoms that sound like they're something else. But God got the power to turn things around. I don't know what you're dealing with tonight, but I dare you just to turn your hand around and say, God, turn it around for me. Not only was it a holy night, but tonight is a turnaround night. Grab your neighbor and say, he's going to turn it around tonight. I said, grab him and tell him he's going to turn it around for me. Anybody believe he can turn around? Yeah! My God. See, you ought to get happy. My God. Because you ought to get happy for somebody else's testimony. Can I tell you why? You don't know what you're going to need God to do for you next week. You don't know what you're going to need God to do for you next year. So I wish I could get about 20 folks just to jump up and shout, turn it around. Ow. I don't want to bother. I don't know if anybody ever had some tests and you were waiting for the doctor's report to come back. Somebody might be waiting on a report right now. I'm telling you right now, all is well. Oh God. All is well. I don't care what they think they saw. Matter of fact, I decree and declare that cancer is just dried up right now. Every cancer is cell in your body. a real crazy praise for the next 30 seconds real fast. One, two, clap your hands just for 30 seconds real quick. That the same brother. Everybody clap your hands. that whatever he tried and didn't work, you made it through the storm. Help me say, I made it 
from here alone is worthy Christ Christ the Lord oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him oh oh come let us adore him, Christ, oh Christ, the Lord, for he alone is worthy, for he alone is worthy, 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 for he, for he alone is worthy, Christ. Oh, Christ, the Lord, oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, 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 come, let us adore him, Christ, the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Clap your hands in the presence of an almighty God. Pastor Wright, thank you for the invite. Lady Wright, thank you for setting the tone. You have to be careful when it comes to invites. Is it a safe space? When you've gone through psychological stuff and you got to work your way up, is it a safe space? Yeah, okay. And I, Marcus said he wanted you to come. And uh, I said, can I, please, Martin, let me, can I just do one song? Please. And I saw the flyer and I began to count. Unos, dos, tres. It's three people, three. Because, you know, Christmas concert, you think it's going to be like ten. You can, I, you know, I'm a hider. You know, and God is really pushing me back. You know, uh, pushing me back out there, you know. So I would love to just sit and watch, listen to everybody else sing. Um, and so he told me tonight that it's time for me to just share a little bit of my testimony. And I'm gonna, not going to take so. Because even when it comes to musicians and people that write, they need to know where you are. You can't date me back to 18 years ago. I'm not the same girl. I've, my mind is different. My personality is different after uh, all the hell. So under, I'm just going to, under the umbrella of uh, 2008, I lost my mother. Into 2013, a baby on the outside of my marriage. So that was open humiliation in the city of Atlantic City and the churches and the stores and it shut me down like it shut me all the way down so when I would get up to sing I couldn't hear I, I, I see the people clapping but I just I, I gotta go I can't I guess some people can like push through um, and underneath that umbrella God was humbling me you, you don't you want to be a rock waller. You don't want to humble yourself. You, you know, so if you out there acting like a rock waller, sometimes he got to spank you a little different. You know how you used to get them beatings and it was that one sting? <laughs> when, when your parents, it was that one sting that got you. Okay, so you want to keep having a nasty disposition. You want to keep being mean. You want to keep, you know, going to church and coming home mean. That's what you want to keep doing. So this is what I need to do for you. So that went on, and uh, I was at a church, uh, Bishop Lyle's church, for 20 years. But sometimes you have to leave to heal. And it wasn't the church. It was the whole, the thing, everything. I had to get my daughter. I just had to get stuff straight. Uh, and I know I had to do that because uh, she was in my daughter's inbox. Okay, so. And I would, they would always say, Michelle, I know you saved because you, yeah, I, I just... 
Because if Dan is out there cutting the rug, what am I supposed to do? I got somebody got to hold her and protect her. And so I remember she would come to church and and then she was just on her cell phone. I got to go. We teach family first, then ministry, but then when it happens, it's a problem. Yeah, so it's family first, then ministry. Uh, and so I went away for three years, you know, and then COVID hit, so I had to sit in the seat of myself again. And so we're living in the time of wellness. Check up from the head up. You know, so what were we doing all that time prior to COVID? What were we teaching? What were we singing at? What were we, just a muck. And so now, and I said, you know what? My mother always told me, she said, Michelle, when someone does wrong, you know, they're sick too. You know, so even in that, I had to extend grace. You, you know what I mean? Like, bruh, I mean, but in the city, but anywho, um, yeah. And so it was easy for everybody to see what he had done because she had the belly. But they wasn't thinking about what he had endured for me. So that, that wasn't seen. And so when you sit in yourself, you kind of have to, okay, where was I wrong? I was wrong there. Because it's not going to come back because there's too many shattered pieces now. It just ain't, you know, do I want to marry again? Yes. He's looking for me somewhere. Okay. And, um, but it was hard up here, you know? And so when I saw the fly, I'm like, oh God, this is too much pressure. You know, you know, and I can see the times when I just would cancel, wouldn't show up, you know. But I understand a God connect. It's a God connect. And it wasn't about money. I just, listen, it's a God connect. It's a God connect. I, and I feel safe. It's a sa I don't even feel the spirit of competition. You know, I, gone are the days of those musicals. I just can't. And so even in, even in that, I would hold, th hold my own self hostage. You know, um, w when we as parents are going through stuff, we don't think about what the children are going through. You know, my daughter said, you know, mommy, you missed it because in seventh grade, I started smoking weed. <laughs> I said, just not, even pay just not even paying attention. And she said, I had to do something, mom, because you and daddy's crap was just... Be mindful of that because she was in that and the other woman included her in that. And I know that I had to get myself together because when she walks into the bedroom, this is, I think she's a freshman in high school, 2013, it was a whole five paragraphs. Hello, Shania Buster. You knew her personally. You know my daughter personally. Hello, Shania Buster. Before you read your emails, tell your mother to read this. And it was graphic things. And so, yeah, I had to get my daughter up out. Uh, but I knew I had to get up off the bed when she walks in and she said, you know, I'm tired of, I don't want to talk to Nana. I don't want to talk to Daddy. And she said, Mommy, I know people right now who would do a drive-by. But because my sister's in that house, I'm not going to do it. Freshman in high school. And so I knew that I had to get up. And so this song I recorded, and I will sing this um, until he looked beyond my faults and he saw my need. Amazing grace. Shall always be a song of praise. For it was grace that bought my liberty. I'll never know just how he came here to love me so. Mm -hmm. He looked beyond all my faults, 
saw my need Amazing grace Shall always be My, 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 my Song of praise That on my liberty and I, I, I'll never know, never know, never know just how he came to love me, love me, love me so he looked behind all my thoughts. All my need, and I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where my Jesus he died for me. I'm all I'm all was grace that caught my falling, my falling, my, my falling soul. He looked beyond. Oh, yes, he did. He looked beyond. Oh, yes. He did. He looked beyond. I don't know about you, but I'm delayed. But I'm delayed. But I'm delayed. But I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. But I'm glad. 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 I don't know about you, but I'm glad he looked beyond all my faults and he saw my need. Yes, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Look beyond all my faults, and he saw my need. What a mighty God we serve! Yes, what a mighty God we serve. Hey, the angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God What a mighty God What a mighty God What a perfect God Yes He's a mighty Righteous Oh yes He looked beyond He looked beyond Oh my fault Oh my Of an almighty God. Hey! Let 
the church say yes. Oh, yeah. somebody and tell them I got a feeling that everything gonna be alright I got a feeling good God almighty because what could have killed her you don't hear nobody she made it through somebody else made it through some stuff but if you still breathe it, ah. it knocked the breath out of me. But it didn't kill me, Bana. It might have knocked you to your knees. But yeah, it didn't kill me. Somebody open your mouth and shout, I'm still here. Hey. My God, y'all forgive me. I'm still here. All right, we're moving. I don't believe in pumping people to praise God. The Bible says when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and everything he's done, all you got to have is a memory. All you got to do is think about it. And when you think about what he brought you through, I give you 10 seconds. Th just think about where he brought you. father was driving from Detroit from a convocation coming from church drunk driver hit him head on my mom died instantly one minute I'm talking to her on the phone a couple of hours later I'm viewing her body on a cold table and you make it through that and you don't think I'm gonna give God praise like I'm about to lose my mind
because if everybody starts thinking about what you made it through, we'll never get out of here tonight. If everybody... If everybody just start thinking about what you...
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Sister Michelle, somebody needed to hear every word you said tonight. The Bible says we are overcome by the words of our testimony. Everybody in here got a testimony. Nudge somebody and tell them if you only knew. If you only knew. All right, we're going. Be seated. We get ready to go. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is in me bless this whole lead holy name for he has done great things he has done great things he has done Great things, bless his holy, holy name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, just slip your hands up. Amen. Hallelujah. Zion, the glory. Revive. Revive us again. Hallelujah. When we, when 
in the back on the side. Yeah, it's going to bless your life. But I thank God for this sister. She's been with us for a while here at Life Impact. Thank God for Sister Aronique Savage. She's part of the Savage Singers. <laughs> Amen. And she's going to come and she's going to bless us with one of the most popular Christmas songs. I, I had my choir in Brooklyn do it, and they got mad at me. They said, we ain't singing that song no more this year. I said, yes, you are. As long as I play it, you will. Amen. Are you enjoying this atmosphere? And um, as, as they're preparing to come, when God gave me the vision to start this ministry, I've been pastoring in Brooklyn for 14 years. But I'm, I'm pastoring my dad's old church, which is uh, Grace Tabernacle Christians. It's the Church of God in Christ. But God led me to do something different in this area of the vineyard because sometimes you get stuck into denominations 
and denominations squeeze all the Jesus out of you. I'm, I'm, we on live. I, I, I say what I say, you know. And, and sometimes, you know, God said, the people right now, they don't need jurisdictions and districts and supervisors and district missionaries and and 20 different bishops and all of this and reports and all they just need Jesus and that's all that's all we do here we just want to spread Jesus because if you get Jesus everything else will fall into play amen hallelujah I'm dressed up today because I wanted to show my New York Knicks tie. You'll see it. Amen. But we, we're, this is a comfortable atmosphere where we allow the Lord to have his way. All right. Sister Aaron E. Tavage is coming. Y'all clap your hands. For one of New South Jersey, I think Berlin. Where are you, are you in Pine Hill? Clap your hands with Sister Aaronique Savage and the team. Come on, right here. Hallelujah. I think you can hear me. <laughs> One more time, clap your hands for the song says Emmanuel C Sharp. God with us. I think this is a, a Christmas standard by now. Yes. <laughs> and I think most of y'all know it. Yes. So you can feel free to join us. <laughs> oh.
or Sister Aaronique Savage and the Life Impact Singers. Now we didn't go that high in rehearsal. She went higher than we than we supposed to. Amen. We get ready to go home. Amen. If you didn't have a chance to sow a seed, you can always sow your seed on the Cash App. You might have le- might have left your uh, phone at home. You can go home and sow it there. Amen. Did you enjoy Jesus tonight? Amen. We're getting ready to go. And thank God for my friend and brother, Anthony Pryor, Elder Prophet Anthony Pryor. Amen. And his wife, First Lady Pryor, and the Pryor kids. No relation to Richard Pryor, I don't think. Hallelujah. Come on, let's stand and be dismissed. Amen. Now, again, we have some, um, what you got there? I think we got German chocolate cake. Yes, for sale in the back. And we got peach cobbler. We had banana pudding, but it's sold out already. We got peach cobbler and German chocolate cake and double chocolate cake, I believe. What else is back there? Can we clap our hands for these awesome musicians one more time, y'all? And I want to thank God. She don't, she don't like for us to call her name, but I'm going to call her name anyway. Sister Laquana, she the one. She did all of these Christmas decorations and things. Amen. Hallelujah. And she did a great job. And we know the real reason for the season, but we still going to let our children have fun. Amen. We know what it really is. And they know what it really is too, but we're going to let them have their fun. And again, thank God for First Lady Wright, Sister Michelle Buster, Chosen Vessel, Sister Tizra, all the way from uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. North Carolina, yeah. Brother Elder Marcus Weatherspoon. Amen. And my Camden cousins. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift our hands to the Lord. Thank you, Minister Julian Bonner. Amen. Thank God for the concert being tomorrow night. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your presence in this place. We pray right now for traveling grace and traveling mercy. Get us home safe with no hurt, harm, or danger coming to us. We bind car accidents, slip and falls, crooked cops, and anything that else is not like you. Let the same anointing that's in this room be in the car, bus, train, however we're getting home. And when we see that all is well, when we put our key in the door, we'll give your name more glory, more praise, and more honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say, thank God. Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them I love the Lord and you too.